This is CBS 46 News. We have to change our hearts. Hate can have no safe harbor in America. President Joe Biden fighting back against hate during his visit to Atlanta today. After the trip, Vice President Harris tweeting, quote, we want Asian Americans in Georgia and across our nation to know we won't be silent. We won't stand by. We will always speak out against violence. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night and staying up late. I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Sean Gables. The president and vice president met with members of the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. CBS 46's Zach Summers has the details on the emotional trip. There's a Stop Asian Hate march and rally planned for Saturday here at Liberty Plaza starting at 1 o'clock. President Biden spending the day in Atlanta calling on the nation to rally together to combat the hate in our society. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris traveled to Atlanta on Friday to sit down with Asian American leaders to discuss the recent attacks against the community. Our silence is complicity. We cannot be complicit. We have to speak out. We have to act. The visit followed the deadly shootings at three metro spas that left eight people dead, including six Asian women. There is a lot of work that needs to be done. Georgia State Representative Marvin Lim was in the private meeting that the president described as heart-wrenching. I think the prevailing uh, unifying theme was all of us expressing the fear from our communities. I want to take a few minutes. To Hours before the somber meeting, President Biden and VP Harris stopped at the CDC, getting an update on the pandemic as the president declared science is back. We owe you a gigantic debt of gratitude and we will for a long, long, long time. The president also met with powerful political influencers in the state, including Stacey Abrams, and said Georgia proved that voting still matters. Because when you elected two new United States senators, you made it possible to pass the American Rescue Plan. The president is urging Congress to pass the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act. It would essentially address the rise in hate crimes during the pandemic and improve reporting. Again, the rally on Saturday here at Liberty Plaza starts at 1 o'clock. In downtown Zach Summer, CBS 46 News.